It's a new place I've never visited before. Um, like I said the other day, boxing is taking me around the world. It's taking me to places that I probably would have never visited. There's only so close you can get to replicating how it feels on fight night. One big I feel great. And Ready to go. I'm happy to fight. Let's go. Yeah, we'll do it, mate. Yeah. Sweet. Feeling, feeling amazing, yeah, feeling great. Perfect, pal. And then you're going to look over your, keep your arms folded, look over your... Next way, next way, this way, facing me. You know, amateurs a long time ago. Yeah, it was the year they won the FA Cup where we did the parade run. Hey, welcome to Gibraltar. I wonder if you've just got to pinch yourself uh, in these surroundings. Beautiful, isn't it? It's the first time I've come up onto this deck. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to be here, but... I'm focused on the job in hand, you know, so it's all the glitz and glam is really nice to have, but I've got a job to do. Yeah, yeah. Are you working here? This is what I was born for. Yeah, mate, too, right? <laughs> I could get used to this. God, a couple of years now. It ain't an holiday, though, is it? Beautiful, but I'm here to work. I've got an important job to do. It, it feels good to be flying the flag for Portsmouth, you know. And like the club do get behind me, all the players and that follow me and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm very proud to be from from Portsmouth. Title down to Fratton Park. Yeah, so I went on the WBO European. I went out on the pitch. Yeah, I went out on the pitches. Yeah. It was Unbelievable. And tell you what, I was more nervous going out on the pitch than I was for any of my fights. <laughs>
been training for a long time. But that cross one of it. Right, so we start off. Arms down by your side with your head down. I'm just going to bring your head up. Look straight down the camera. Right, so down. Looking over your shoulder that way to the wall, please, mate. And then. Right, right, next one, feet together, facing them all that way. Bring your right hand up into a fist. After the last fight, I went to Turkey. And since then, I ain't been away. Well, I'm trying to work out how I can wangle a holiday somewhere after this. There's a way, there is always a way in there, but it's just, I'm working out where, what ain't red list who I can speak to who's out there to try and get me something to cover me while I'm out there. I've got my chance again. I know I know I can get this fight. I know I'm well capable of winning this fight. I'm pushing on with my career, so... Nah. You know, when they said, well, coming up to do a press conference, I didn't think it will be in a place like this. This is 10-10. Like, this is Proper yeah. settings, man, yeah. Wicked, wicked, wicked. <laughs> what, what could possibly go wrong? What could go wrong? I could stop. I James, just to confirm that boxes go through the side gate and the other first go down towards the main entrance gate. So if you just go down the steps. face off at the end of that pontoon thing yeah ah. no pushing no pushing <laughs> right <laughs> no, okay. no get wet right we'll save it for saturday <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Absolutely stunning scenery, stunning weather. We're very, very grateful to everybody in Gibraltar. Of course, a special thank you to Fabian Picardo and Stephen and Aris for all their help in making this possible. I'm so privileged 
to be quite when I read this speech. I'm going to grab it with both hands on Saturday night. I am 100%, yeah. Um, but I'll always go back to the with the lowest I can't go that away. But um, just still now, I just can't thank you and Matt doing enough for the, the year you've given it. Finish this head to head, he's going to make his way round for a very brief interview with us. We've got some local Gibraltar press here, so we're just having like two versions of the head to heads here, that's why they look like they've. Thank you. Now we move to the heavyweight division, division that's full of thrills and spills, drama, I think we'll get it with this heavyweight contest on Saturday night. Um, thank you, thank you a lot for the chance. Um, I'm feeling very good, um, I'm in good shape and I will show you the best of me. Nick, massive chance for you, looking tremendous shape as well. You've been part of these big box office shows before, sometimes it's gone your way, sometimes it hasn't, but like Eric Pfeiffer, this is a massive opportunity on a huge stage on Saturday night. Yeah, it's a great stage. Thank you for getting me on there. And uh, yeah, I look forward to fighting Eric on Saturday. Finally, I think he's a great man. He's a great amateur. So um, for me, it's a great pleasure to go take my field. And I can't wait. For you, how do you win it? Any way possible. KO, hey, uh, four yeah. points, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm winning. Yeah. Yeah. For a long time, two guys that have been avoided choose to fight each other. So good for the sport of boxing that two domestic fighters with big futures say, I believe I can win this fight. This is the fights I want, you know. I don't want to fight these gentlemen. I don't want to fight people that I know I can just uh, knock them out in, in, in a round. And I believe I'm the best white boy in the UK. To, to prove that, I've got to beat, a, beat Chris Cogo on Saturday. saying that's my belt. I've, I've come here to take that belt and take the whole show away from him. This is McKinsey's show. I said I told him this is my belt. It's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. It's staying with me. I bought it for, for him to just come and look at it. That's it. All right, guys, we are good to go. Um, you can but enjoy it, mate. Mm -hmm. For me, I just want to uh, go in there and, like I say, do myself justice and obviously if I'm the best Campbell Latin uh, I can be, I'll be happy with that. So much action already unveiled and still two more undercard fights before we move to the main event and this one for me 
could be fire tonight. An absolute cracker for the British Super Welterweight Championship between Ted Cheeseman and JJ Metcalf. Yeah, I mean, it's lovely to be part of a big event, but it's just business when you get here. It's natural, I've done this, as you say, time and time again. So it's about just getting in fight mode and doing the business Saturday night. Definitely, yeah, you know, I feel watching the target from the start of them, and now it's my chance to, you know, return the favour. Fresh as a person in life, in boxing, and we've got that hunger back and that, that um, the love for boxing back. You go down the sea down there, mate. Yeah, mate, just so you know, uh, there's like a reality show here, man. Like, we all come in the same plane and then we, it all moves over to Saturday, we gotta beat the show out of each other. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. It's a funny world. I don't know if boxing will we'll see another. Like event like this. I'm trying to explain to everybody back at home. Yeah, everybody's on this play. We're here. We're all together. Yeah, so nobody could get out. And guess what? We got to beat the shit out of each other all the time. It's good. It looks nice. I so I haven't been in and seen it yet, but um, I saw like the pictures and stuff. It looks really, it looks really good. Like for this whole, just the whole week and the whole event. Uh, clearly, like, it's no ex no expense spared. It's just all out, which is is nice for us because. Us, the fighters, we all feel like we're part of something big and something special. Yeah, it's I'm looking forward to Saturday and putting on a fantastic performance and really, really showcasing some of my skills. You are a marking me. Dillian White in an epic heavyweight rematch, live and exclusive on Sky Sports box office in the UK and Ireland and the zone everywhere else in the world. This is a fight that is going to be so dramatic, so thrilling. So we do it, and the team doing everything that he feel comfortable, um, you know, you know, joking, smiling. So this is a, maybe one of the uh, uh, issues, you know, of you know, general success. We're about to get it on in two days. I want to say massive thanks to the Gibraltar people and the, the team behind us helped to make it happen. Thanks to Sky, thanks to Matchroom, thanks to my team, thanks to everyone. And um, thanks to his team. And, um, you know, um, you know me, I always come to the ring to fight anyway. So I don't care, man. I just, I just, I just love fighting. I enjoy fighting. I enjoy what I do. I just 
uh, tell us how you're feeling now you've gone face to face. So you sized him up and had a good look at him. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, you know, he's just, he's very, you know, he's quite relaxed. He's trying not to show not much, a lot of emotions, but I can, I can see, you know, we're fighters, we know, you know, I mean, obviously, we shared a ring before. He knows, he knows, you know. Well, the win for me actually is, you know, is everything, you know, it makes me more happy. It means that we can, you know, go forward to some bigger fights. Perfect boys, straight and different this way, lovely. Lovely David, lovely, perfect. Let's rock and roll, baby. Thank you. All right, check it out. We're back with more Matchroom Radio from Sunny Gibraltar. You started boxing at nine years old, something like that. It, actually, you weren't even allowed to box till you were eleven, but you started at nine. You went back at eleven. You were really inspired by Barry McGuigan. You used to actually live here for a while. When was this and, and why did you move here? Why why did you leave? Yeah, so come out here and then I thought, you know what, I really want to base myself in Gibraltar. So you, you liked it. What 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 spoke to you about it? I just just the place, but it do, it didn't I'll go, go on to it in a bit, but it didn't look like it does now. From no, from a fighter's perspective, how do, how does it how does it differ for you? I think this one's more of a, a luxury bubble. You know, we're here at the <laughs> yeah. Sunborn Hotel on the, on the yacht, <laughs> on the yacht. Even in in fight camp, I was always focused, and I'm still focused now, and I'm zoned in on fight time. You will get to know me on Saturday night in the ring. That they will get to see the side of me that I can that I can perform, that I can compete at that high level with them high caliber opponents. That's what that's what Saturday night is all about. Against Eric Molina is proven to them people that don't know me that I am definitely a force to be reckoned with. Beautiful. Easy 10 seconds. 